morning we're going to do fork seals on a Honda Spirit 750. They're all pretty much the same. I jacked it up, got it off the ground. This bike has a few issues. Actual bolt, 22 millimeters. Six millimeters, bolt right in the front. These forks are in a mess, they're leaking a lot. Remove, get out of the way. All right, loosen the top cap. It's 24 millimeters. Use an extension and use this as a clamp. That's loose. Now we can manage that later. Let's remove directional. Five million. Little lubricant can't hurt. 8 millimeters, loose it. Loose it top tree, 5 millimeters. Now we're going to remove the bolts from the fender. Remove this without taking the fender off completely. Go. So I'm going to remove that top cap. There's a spring on there. Be careful. That wasn't bad at all. that simple. You remove these parts, keep them in order. Face up. Ugly spring. Washer. I keep everything clean. Alright, now that it's empty, clean any rust, spray a little oil. That rust needs to go as best as possible so you don't ruin your seal. The little oil comes out real nice. Steel wool, 4-0, Walmart. Okay, it took me about 10 minutes, and uh, it's pretty clean. Now take a chisel, work the cap off, nice and careful. It usually comes off pretty easy. That's one. Now you need a little screwdriver. You'll see this. I hope you see it. Little space. One. Work it around. You're going to reuse this, so be careful. If it ain't rusted, definitely reusing it. 
I don't think I ever replaced one. Clean it up. A little steel wool. Put it aside. I had to put it back in the clamp. Buzz. I put it back in the fender and locked it up here and used my impact. It worked swell. It was spinning. And that was my problem. This bolt comes right out of this bottom hole and it's up top and it's what connects everything together. There it is. Not a problem. Six millimeters. Sometimes it spins. I use my impact and that resolved that problem. And take it out. Put it aside. It's going to leak some oil. in here, it's going to be leaking, without a doubt it'll be a little bit of a mess, the stuff is up. Take a nice rag, undo this, remember, it's spring loaded, not bad. One, spacer, washer, cap. Ugly spring. Now, we remove the C clip from in here. Now you'll have a bushing and a seal. The bolt is removed from lower. Now, gently. Don't, it will be a mess, just one. Turn it, two. She moving. Couple more. Take your time. She's about at the top right now. Three more. One, she done. You can see. That's the seal, how bad it is. Done. That's the seal. Destroyed. And there's a washer. And a bushing. All oh, gotta go back together right. Home Depot. Radio one and a half inch plumbing PVC. Fits right in. A little rubber mallet. Done. That's simple. Now the seal. I cut off some plastic from a Pepsi bottle. I don't want to run the new seal with oil. You'll notice that the spring side with the writing is up. Go like that. Now we bring this down here slowly. Now, when we steel wool to four zero, get a little pit. Now, beautiful thing. Now that comes off. Pipe back on.
Use your factory square edge. And we're right where we need to be. Now take your little ring. Screwdriver. You will hear it go right into that You'll hear it go right into the little C-clip setting. A little oil, brand new dust shield. Beautiful thing. One more thing left. Your brass seal. Be careful. so tight when we put it back into this cradle and we're up with oil 4.4 from the top I got 15 weight with the forks compressed like 15 and a half ounces they say I'm gonna measure from the top to where the oil is at 111 millimeters approximately four and a half inches I'm gonna do four and seven sixteen fifteen weight oil Press it. One, two, three. Four and seven sixteenths. I can live with that. Spring in tight to the top. Decompress this. Slide this row. I'm using this as